Hello, Alyssa here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a bit about my breastfeeding journey. So to give you a little background, I have two children. I have a three-year-old and an almost 12-month-old. He will be one next week. And I did breastfeed my three-year-old for an entire year. And then at one year old, I decided to start weaning her. I thought she was going to be like, I thought it was gonna take like at least three months to wean. And I, I had never done it before and so I tried giving her like almond milk or regular milk, like lactose free, because I knew that we had a dairy thing in her bottle and she just wouldn't take it. She didn't like it. She ended up going from breastfeeding to a water cup and table food in a matter of a week. It was super fast and super easy and I was just shocked. So when my second, I thought surely things aren't going to be that easy. But he's actually been like a super laid back, chill, easygoing, great sleeping, great eating baby from the start. I cannot believe how easy of a baby he has been. From the moment he was born, he latched on. We, I had a, some trouble in the first week, but I watched some YouTube videos, thanks YouTube, on fixing a baby's latch. I got his latch right, and after a week I had no soreness and we've breastfed ever since. I did try to give him a bottle around five months old and he, he would have nothing to do with it. So we've been exclusively breastfed. Of course, he's also had table food for the past six months. And now it's time to wean him. Is it, I mean, it's actually going pretty well. Before you start telling me like, oh, babies need breast milk until they're three years old or whatever. I know the benefits of breast milk and I am, there's no doubt that the nutrients in breast milk and antibodies and all the things are beneficial to a child's health well after they're a year old. But for me personally, I have exclusively breastfed for a year now and I'm ready to be able to shed those last 10 pounds. I'm ready to, you know, be able to leave him with the grandparents, go out on a date night, and so for me, I'm ready. I'm ready to wean, and he's he's doing pretty well. But he is also not taking to almond milk or or um, or lactose-free milk. And I'm thinking about trying goat's milk, and we'll see how that goes. But he just doesn't like it. And of course, he's never taken a bottle, and so we've just gone straight to the sippy cup. And so I put the milk in the sippy cup, and he'll suck it and he spits it out like he does not like it he likes to nurse and he likes a water cup so i think we might be doing the same thing as i did with my first going from breastfeeding to a water cup so how i'm doing it is and i have not read a book on this i have not researched this topic i have not like gotten the expert answers on how to do this i'm just kind of going with like what i feel will work <laughs> and what I think will work just knowing my child and so first thing I did was probably over a month ago I started to stop breastfeeding him to sleep which he really he didn't need it I mean they, they don't need that but I thought that was gonna be more of a struggle than it was and he quite easily just stopped breastfeeding before he went to sleep I just made sure that I nursed him like within the hour before putting him down. It got his tummy nice and full. He does take a passy. He's had a passy since day one. Both of my kids have their passy, passy babies. We are not weaning the passies yet. No, no, no. <laughs> but we are weaning, weaning breastfeeding and the passies help. So whenever he's like wanting to suck, <laughs> then I'll pop a passy in his mouth. And if he's like begging me for milk, I'm gonna give it to him. But usually I can just keep his belly full and keep him distracted and he doesn't really ask for it. But so the first thing that I did was I stopped nursing him before sleep. He was not nursing to sleep anymore. This took um, 30 minutes of crying one day, like off and on, not like constantly screaming. But I, before his nap, I made sure that I nursed him within the hour before his nap. So I knew he was full. I knew that he did not need to nurse for like nutrition's sake and I knew he wasn't hungry and then I put him down for his nap and he was very, very angry about that and he 
cried off and on for 30 minutes and then he went to sleep and he slept his whole like two two and a half hour nap time woke up happy and fine and then we nursed and so make sure to keep like that feed wake sleep schedule and not nurse to sleep that night he didn't even ask to nurse he learned it he was ready to go and ever since we have not been nursing to sleep so then the next step i took was cutting out the earlier feedings so i just make sure that whenever he wakes up i give him breakfast and make sure it's good and nutritional nutritional and he gets full and then he plays and then he goes down for a nap just i give him some water in case he's thirsty right before a nap and give him his passy and put him down and then Whenever he wakes up, I just make sure he has a good snack and so on. He takes two naps a day right now and pretty much sleeps through the night. I get some, sometimes I get really lucky and he sleeps 12 hours straight. Other nights he sleeps like between seven and 10 hours straight and then he'll nurse and go back to sleep. So for a few days I thought, oh my goodness, we're like almost done, <laughs> like nursing all together. He doesn't even need it because he was not nursing before sleep and then he was sleeping 12 hours through the night not nursing through the night and then waking up for to eat breakfast um, but then he started teething again and so then he was wanting to nurse more and he was waking up in the night and I was just nursing him and then putting him back down to sleep so I so where we're at right now is the teething stage right now <laughs> and so I am not nursing him to sleep but I'll nurse him after his nap and like I'm trying to not nurse him before dinner but sometimes I will if he's really cranky in the afternoons and then I will nurse him after dinner he'll go all day without nursing and then after his afternoon nap if he's begging for it then I will nurse him but usually he's fine and then after dinner I nurse him but not to sleep so I'll nurse him after dinner and then do bath and then bedtime and he'll go to sleep around 7 and hopefully sleep until 7 unless he doesn't go to bed at 7 and he goes to bed at 8 and wakes up at 6 <laughs> that's happened a few times this week and I've thought oh I missed my 7 to 7 and then I'm like slapping myself being like he slept 10 hours like what are you complaining about <laughs> sit with me well <laughs> well I'm gonna wrap this up because Lander's awake now and here's Aowen too hanging out with me <laughs> so anyways we're almost done weaning from breastfeeding that's how I've been doing it I would love to know your <laughs> tips any advice that you have weaning and breastfeeding um, <laughs> If you were encouraged by this video, found it informational, I would love to hear about that in the comments. It kind of keeps me going and it keeps me wanting to put more content out there if I know that it has helped you in any sort of way. Uh, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. As always, remember to live honestly and we're going to go get a snack. Bye!